I was so excited for our conversation today. We're talking about the secret to achieving success, fulfillment in life, love and business. I'm just going to turn all the things that go ping off. <laughs> ah, how are you all? Let me know where you are tuning in from. Please do say hello if you are joining me live. And of course, say hello if you are joining me on the replay as well. Let me know that you've joined the replay. If you, you can do that by using hashtag replay. And then I'll know that you've tuned in on the replay. And of course, if you have any questions as we have this conversation, then please do post them below. And if I don't see them whilst we're live, I will circle back and we can carry on the, carry on the conversation. I really wanted to talk about this today because this is something that is just so important for well, for all of us because we are all part of the collective. We're all little bundles of energy taking care of our own energy fields. And this creates a, a ripple effect and an impact on the collective energy that we are all connected to. And when I think about what I desire, what people come to help, uh, come to me for help with is ultimately their desire to live their most fulfilled life, to ultimately to have that self-fulfillment, to be self-actualized and to, you know, through that process, be making, making the impact that you wanted to make, fulfilling your mission, being able to experience and express love. We, we all desire to be fully self-actualized and to, to have that expression, I believe. And of course, whilst along our journey we will have hiccups we'll have the valleys we'll have the the caverns or, or things that might quite frankly feel like an avalanche and then we can have alongside that the beauty of the mountain views the beach views the sunset views and those views and the visions to get better and better we start to live beyond the initial vision that we once had does that make sense so we get to upgrade our visions along the way and for me, the one frequency that makes the ultimate difference for how we experience all of this is love. So my vision is that love is the bottom line for all of our businesses. And our love for our business as its, as its own entity and consciousness, is, is that is profit. The love for our mission, the love for the transformation that we provide, for the service, whatever. So I know we have um, entrepreneurs with all different backgrounds here. So the the, the service that you provide, the vehicle for the transformation for your, for your clients and for your customers, the love for oneness, for being part of the, the collective for, as, as a whole, and the love for our, our communities within that collective. And this is the really important thing. We are, we are in relationship with our business because we are in relationship with, with everything. And our relationships, of course, outside of our business, our relationship with ourselves ultimately then our family friends partners all of this is reflected back in our business so I'll see a reflection of me and my my relationship to myself in my business and what I'm tolerating in my business as a reflection of my self-worth have you noticed this as you've grown your business um, to the six-figure mark multi-six-figure mark seven-figure mark wherever you're at in business is that at every new level, this comes up at every level, to every new income level, every new level of, of growth requires a paradigm shift, a new embodiment of a new identity, and with that, a new level of, of, of worthiness. It completely requires an identity shift to be able to fully embody seeing yourself as even more worthy, even more valuable than perhaps you previously thought. And for me, my greatest increase in, in self-worth as I've grown my business came through the transformational work I did directly in relation to my relationship with myself and my family members. And of course, this may look different for you, but the transformational work will be in how you are in relationship with yourself and others. So for me, it was in healing my relationship with myself and my relationship with my mother that I got the greatest self-fulfillment. And I saw this ripple out into other relationships and into the success of my business and, and being able to make a, a bigger impact with my work, which of course then activated and amplified my fulfillment in my work with, with my clients. So I hope that makes sense. I'd love to know what is resonating for you. 
And as I'm reflecting on this, because, you know, we are all interconnected. And so how we do one thing is how we do everything. You might have heard me say that, say that before, but it, it is really important just to kind of remember that. So if we were to take a, take a moment to just do a pulse check on our inner conversations that we're having with our business. So I invite you just to take a moment to think of your business as a separate energy to you. And a great way to do this is to imagine yourself holding a big ball of energy. And this energy is, is your business. And every word and thought you project onto your business adds to the energy and the magnetism of the business or, de or you know detracts from it. So when you think about your intention for this year and growing to whatever the growth is for you this year, so whether it's growing to multi-six figures, six figures, multi-six figures, growing to a million, growing to 50 million revenue, whatever it is for you, whatever your energetic intention is for this year. So think of this as your energetic timeline that you are on. What are you projecting onto your business? Are you projecting your own confidence, your own belief, commitment into it? Are you seeking support to develop your skills? You can take care of your business, perhaps, it's hiring your next person so that you can focus on the things that, you know, so you keep in your lane of genius. You're not taken out into the, doing the bits and pieces that somebody is, that someone else's lane of genius and they'd be better place to do that. And that's all so that your business can take care of you and, and your family as you're taking care of the business. So how can you take care of your business and the energy behind the words that you project onto your business? So just to contemplate for a moment, what is your mind chatter saying? And you'll know the thoughts that you're thinking because you'll hear it in your voice. But just to kind of give you some examples in, that may resonate, and you can feel it in, in your body. And it, you might not say it exactly like this, of course, but it might be a version of. So share in the comments what's coming up for you where you recognize this as you're thinking about that next growth. It might be, I've got a block. I just can't figure out what it is. It might be, who me? Can it really be me? Or I don't have time for X, Y, Z, whatever it might be. Or if only my VA had, hadn't done this or that, or had done this or that, or if only my copywriter was quicker, then I would be here, wherever here is. Or it could be, I'm so lucky to have my VA. It isn't her fault that she hasn't been able to do the work she was supposed to do over the last six months because of X, Y, Z. Or it might be a personal thing where if only my husband or wife did X, Y, Z, then I would be able to have more fun. Or um, my husband really supports me or my wife really supports me, but I feel so guilty that I'm growing the business. I don't see them much because the business is always coming first. Or perhaps you might actually have a blind spot and aren't noticing where your relationships are creating energetic leakages where you're having a little bit of energetic incontinence. And we really wanna shore up those leakages so we're not having energetic incontinence so that we've got solid energetic foundations so we can up level and hold, hold the energetic container that's growing. So as, as we up level and we're growing, we get to evolve our leadership energy. You know, for me, being able to be more of our higher selves, to embody our higher selves, I think of this as, um, your future self, embodying our CEO energy, you know, knowing the right things to that we need to focus on at the right time as our business is growing, prioritizing our responsibilities, and being able to have that with the balance of that part of us that is the productivity ninja, so that we are able to have that balance. We're not always in that doing mode. So key, and it boils down to our relationship with ourselves and how we embody these different components to being able to then unlock this next level of of fulfillment and growth. And I see this a lot with uh, our clients. Some of our clients you know, are doing really well, having been the complete productivity ninjas, but haven't got that balance because they're not allowing any time for themselves to be enjoying what they've created or perhaps being able to delegate effectively because it's trigger triggering old wounds. And so hanging on to pieces of the business because the business is actually asking them to heal their relationship with themselves in relation to trust for the next piece of the jigsaw puzzle to be complete so they can then grow. That makes sense. And the other piece is we get 
we get a mirror, of course, in our business where other people's projections are energetic, energetically projected onto our business, reflecting ultimately what's in our energy field, even though we may not consciously know it. And this can come up at any point along the journey when perhaps, you know, we start to, we can start to pay attention when the business hasn't produced the results that everyone, whoever everyone is, everyone is expecting or hoping for. And that can often be family members or it could be team members. However, the, the, the dynamics are, are made up for you with what's you know, springing to mind. We get those projections on our business. And the reason why this is really key is because, you know, everything is a relationship. We're in a relationship with our, our business, our family members, our partner, ourselves, our team members. And of course, the key things here within this, one of the key things is that I see holding people back is where, where they've triangulated their business. And what I mean by this is by creating a, a drama triangle between themselves, their business, maybe the team member, the partner, the whoever fill in the blank and if we're doing it somewhere we're doing it everywhere and we have to transmute the energetics around this so that we don't try and take this pattern with us as our business grows because it will be a leaky bucket and you know the key thing of course is that you know we're not doing this consciously our subconscious is like a, a missile target always wanting to prove itself right and to deliver in alignment with the beliefs the emotions the patterns the transgenerational patterns the past life the collective conscious programming all the energetics that we're holding and it always does it has a hundred percent success rate and so this is so key and i invite you to think of if you're not familiar with this triangulation so energetically think of this triangulation as three energetic paradigms that we can operate in at any one time so when and this is the thing is where there is one there is there is all three and we can rotate around them really quickly or stay in one identity in relation to something specific or a situation for a really long time so the the triangle is we have think of the one paradigm as the energetic puller so this is the victim energy so this is where anywhere you may be feeling that sort of slight sense of Call me, you're in the frequency of feeling powerless, hopeless, feeling stuck. Then we have the energetic protector. So this is where we are moving into the, the rescue energy. So this is where I'll pull you to the victim, the, the puller, the energetic puller. I'm going to help you. Let me help, even though you don't want my help. Um, I'm going to sort it all out for you. And don't worry, I've got it. I'm going to take care of everything and then get knocked <laughs> about having to having done that, even though you created that for yourself. And then we have the energetic pusher. So this is where you can think of this as the, the persecutor. This is where the person's in that blaming energy. It's all your fault. They're feeling really, really critical. Or they're projecting that criticism onto you. That it may feel controlling. It feels like they are appearing to feel like that they're superior. And their energy is in a real pushing energy. And these different energetic paradigms, so we've got the energetic puller, the energetic projector, the energetic pusher. These energetic paradigms, we hold them across different belief levels and different layers of our aura. They're enmeshed, they're hidden, they're buried beyond our conscious mind. They're buried in our consciousness and they are magnetizing your experiences to you. Does that make sense? So if you're thinking about the different aspects of life, I just invite you to contemplate where may this be showing up? Where is there perhaps an energetic triangle between drama triangle being created between you, your business and your other half, for example? Where is there an energetic triangulation between you, your partner and your kid? just to take a moment to think about, okay, where is this showing up for me? What's resonating? What questions are bubbling up for me? And to think about this from this perspective of, as you think of this, are you, whatever the situation is, are you in your leadership energy? If we're talking about a business example, or are you in your energetic puller energy, this victim mode of, oh, this happened to me, it's too hard. How can they do that to me? Rather than, the leadership energy would be, I've made some decisions that haven't worked out. This is what I've learned from them. These are the risk management 
things I've put in place so that the business can grow. So I can take care of the business. I can continue to love on my business and for love to be the bottom line. And of course, this is this is really important because consciously you might be thinking, yep, I'm in my leadership energy, I've got this, but still be holding an energetic imprint, let's say, for example, of a relationship trauma. So the trauma may be with your whoever it may be, you know, mother, father, brother, sister, partner, previous business co- colleague. And that the subconscious is then running one of these paradigms to, to keep us, to keep you safe. And ultimately that's slowing down your success, fulfillment in life, love, business. So we have to upgrade our energetic field in, re- in our relationship to ourselves and how we are in relation to others. So as we're chatting about this, I'd love to, I'd love to know what is resonating for you. And what is your priority for more fulfillment in life? And a great way, I love doing this, is thinking, you know, when I'm 111 years old and I'm looking back on my life, what are most of my thoughts about? How has my consciousness around love evolved? How have I required more of myself in my relationships? How did I require more of myself in my relationships? And those that I'm in relationship with and, and their experience of me as that person. So whether that's their experience of me as a friend, experience of me as a boss, a mentor, a client, a mother, a sister. And when you're looking back from that future self, when I'm looking back, what was my experience of my relationship with myself? Great uh, way to really allow yourself to feel and and to consider how you want to upgrade your experiences of your relationship. Let me know in the comments what is what is resonating, and of course, if you've got any questions, pop them below, and I'll circle back and back and answer them. So ultimately. People come to me because they want to make a difference with their life, to have that fulfillment, the happiness, the peace of mind, and to experience more, more love. And this is really key because it is one of our soul's purpose is to experience and express love. And if there was, you know, a love barometer, like a temperature gauge from 0 to 100, everyone probably has capacity to experience more love and more self-love. So if you were to measure Let's use self-love. So if you were to measure your self-love on a scale of not to 100 today, where would you intuitively say it is? And I would hazard a guess that there's room for all, always, because we can only see things through our current perception filters. As we, so we might be thinking, I've nailed this, but actually there is more. We just can't see it yet because we don't know that there is more. Does that make sense? So that's why I believe this is just the greatest gift to not only yourself, but to everybody around you. So I'd love to know from from you what, and pop this in the comments below, is what relationship would you most like to improve? Is it your relationship with yourself? Is it your relationship with your business? Is it your relationship with your other half? Or perhaps you want to call in your other half? your significant other, your life partner, however you would would term that relationship. Do you want to improve your relationship with your team? What is the relationship that you would most like to improve at this, at this now moment? Let me know in the comments. This is the most important work that we can do for ourselves. Alrighty, so I'd love to take a moment for those of you that would like to dive deeper and to upgrade your relationships across all areas of your life to come and join us in the Love Codes. This is an energetic exploration of your relationship to yourself and others and how it's reflected back to you so that through the energetic work that we're going to do together, you're vibrationally attuned for more love, more expansive experiences for relationships that support you in all areas of your life so that you upgrade to that next level for success in your life and to have that next level of happiness. 
we will be we will heal the energetic blocks to amplify your love frequencies that you're emitting we'll heal the toxic trio to manifesting so that you you'll immediately feel lighter and align you to new energetic paradigms which will have an impact on all areas of your life so that you will attract these upgraded experiences to you i really wanted to create something for all of us and something that will have the biggest impact and, and this is it so i'm so excited about this this is it's the most important thing that you can do for yourself for your family for your clients and for the collective so if you're feeling that pull then just drop me a message and uh, ask let me know that you like all the juicy details and uh, when you reach out i always like just to have a little chat as i'm getting to know you so we'll have a little chat in the in the messenger and then i'll just share all the details with you so you can have a read through i've just got it in a a Google Docs, you have a read through and then just circle back in a couple of days and let me know um, if you are in, if it's aligned for you to come and join us. And of course, if you've got any questions, then you just circle back and, and let me know. We are welcoming in clients now with a super juicy time sensitive early bird saving. We start on the 20th of March. And just to give you a heads up that the price will be going up in March. So if you are thinking about it, then just reach out. Um, now is a really good time to reach out so you've got a chance to, to read through before um, before the end of February and then the price will go up in March. So uh, really looking forward to welcoming those of you who are joining us. We have some people already who have stepped in, which is really exciting. So I cannot wait to be sharing this journey with you. And for those of you that are thinking about both the Love Codes and the Helix Method, just reach out, just let me know. Um, and then I can chat through um, both of those with you because I have an exclusive offer for you in relation to that as well. So super excited to share all of that with you. I cannot wait to see all your comments and uh, to carry on the conversation in relation to, to this in, in the comment section. I will circle back um, shortly. And uh, if you have been joining us for replay, do hashtag replay so I can say hello to you as well. Alrighty then, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Joining me, sending you all so much love.